Hi, I'm Tim, and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Breville Infuser Espresso Machine. I personally have been using much of the Breville Espresso Machine range for such time, actually every day in my office where I go to. In my office, they actually have the Breville Express Espresso Machine, which is a great unit. However, it does have a built-in grinder, which I'm not too fond of because if either your espresso machine breaks or the grinder breaks, your machine is out. And if you have to send it to the repairer, you got no coffee. <laughs> and as we all know, being without coffee is no fun. So for the home, having a unit like this, which is about the low to mid range when it comes to the Breville espresso machines is a very solid choice. Having the grinder separate, as well as the espresso machine separate is a win-win situation. So let's check out some of the features and the benefits of this machine. So starting at the back, it has its own water reservoir, which takes about 1.8 liters to being full. Also part of the, the water reservoir is the charcoal filter system. So what you can do is you can actually set up when to replace your filters. So it helps your machine not scale up or get dirty so easily. If you choose to buy the charcoal filters, you can slot one inside here and put it in, and then you can slot one in down inside the bottom, like so. Your full instructions on how to add in your filter and rinse it and reassemble it is right here. So it comes with a porter filter, just a single one with the double shot, like so. The pitcher, we also have the different baskets with the the single and the double, like so. You also have a single and a double with a dual wall, so you can get the extra pressure with your espresso shot. They fit in like so, and you can easily take them out like this. I use one, pop them out. So it comes with the leveler, which you go like this to level off your coffee. It comes with a cleaning diaphragm, which I'll show you later how to use in another video. The Allen key, the Allen keys for disassembling here, under here. Cleaning tablets, descaling powder, and nozzle and cleaning tool, as well as your little tool to change your nozzle. Like so. We also have the tamp, like so, which just has a nice magnet slips back inside like so. You have the steam run with only the single nozzle here at the bottom. Turning it to the left is the steam. Turning it to the right for hot water. In the bottom, we have the cleaning and drip tray, like so, which you can remove. Also it lets you know when to empty it. Also at the very back, has an additional drip tray just in case it's leaking from the bottom, but also has additional instructions here on how to clean the nozzle, remove the steam nozzle, as well as clean your filters. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these Breville infusers, please check out the links below in the description. And if you choose to purchase one of these via my links, you are helping support the channel. So let's head to see how the Breville infuser goes making an actual decent latte. <laughs> So I just use some blonde espresso beans for this latte. As you can see, it comes out quite nice. It takes a bit of a technique to get the foam of the milk to come out really smooth and, and micro foam in terms of the nice thickness of the top of the foam there, about the right height you want for a latte. And yeah, let's taste it. Not bad, not bad. This particular bean's a little bit sour. Ooh. Besides that, it's, it's quite nice. So to conclude, I think this is a very good machine. 
especially for the home. I think it's at that great range for making the espresso coffees that you're looking for. It's very robust, it's sturdy, it stands the, less, the, it stands the test of time, and yeah, and if you're looking to buy one, you know, you can find the link below and get off Amazon. You know, they're fairly, fairly affordable as well. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.